Yeah, monkey here. Me and Ferret are off for four nights camping out on the tussock tops. We're getting dropped up by a helicopter just to save the legs and uh, get us right in the right position for where we want to start our hunt. We're going to move along the tops, fly camping as we go, and we're hunting out chamois and stags. Hopefully we can find a few of those. It's having a bit of a feed there. Bit of bully beef. Nice. And this is Ferret's camp. What do you call that camp, Ferret? The Ritz. <laughs> Looks like something the Flintstones built. <laughs> if it pisses down, you're in the shit. <laughs> Our packs behind down in the basin here, and now we're climbing up to get into another catchment. Just um, we put a GPS marker on the packs so we can find them later if it fogs in. Then we're going to head out over the top and we'll loop our way back around and get back to our packs later in the day.
we think this wee tarn behind us might be the only water supply around because last night there was a mob of deer and they were really annoyed with us camping right beside their water hole and they kept on uh, trying to come down and, and get a drink but uh, then they were barking and carrying on and they didn't call, I don't know if they had a drink or not, we went to sleep, they might have come for a wee sip but uh, they weren't very happy that we were here right in their, their little drinking hole anyway we're just breaking up camp again after another night on the tops um, it's a nice wee spot this one nice tarn Ferret's just sorting out a bit of breakfast what do you got there Ferret? a bit of porridge porridge and some banana chips pretty nice. good grub the Ferret's already left without me He's gone up here onto this ridge, and we to go up this ridge here and right up into the clouds there behind me. And we're going to head over the top into the next catchment and see what we can find over there. So, ready for a big climbing mission this morning. And the ferret's already a quarter of an hour ahead of me, so, and he's as fit as a buck rack, little bastard. I'm an old man. Although we saw plenty of different animals, none of the stags or chamois that we saw were big enough for either ferret or I to bother taking one of them home. It's always a fantastic time being up high on those tussock tops, it's a beautiful place to be, the scenery alone makes it worthwhile. But now it's time for us to head down through the bush and out to the flats to go and find our ute and head home. <laughs> 